we finally got her figured out here. Even though we uh, just lost our rear guys good afternoon this is Dave with Nomadic e-biking adventures it is Thursday May 9th and we are in uh, Wayona Minnesota Just uh, about two o'clock right now. Temperatures in the 60s. We had a cold front come through last night. Had some rain today. So uh, it's a little cooler today. Winds are out. Pretty light though. It's not too bad. And we should be on a uh, we should be on a trail that's probably about uh, 15 to 18 miles. We're going to uh, see if we can go across the Mississippi to Wisconsin. And uh, if you saw yesterday's video, for some reason, I don't think uh, right after I adjusted my handlebars, I forgot to turn the GoPro on. So I missed uh, the action with the, uh, with the barge. And uh, as we unfolded the bike just now out of the trunk, the uh, side mirror busted off. So, we don't have a side mirror. So this will be kind of interesting. Uh, one thing is, always breaking stuff. Anyways, I got my uh, iPhone, where my iPad was, and we're going to kind of use that to hold the iPhone. And uh, we'll make do with that. The streets are just drying up now, it's not too bad couple puddles here and there so we got to kind of watch it I got my uh, power pack with me so I can keep the uh, iPhone charged up I've got uh, my three GoPro batteries So we'll be limping along. Yeah, the rain just stopped probably about one o'clock-ish. So 
So yesterday I mentioned something about that uh, protruding uh, rock. I'm trying to find out a name for it. And this is the road I want, so I'm going to, instead of just turning because I don't have a mirror, this one's going to go right up to the bridge. There's the bridge just ahead. So, supposedly there's a, uh, a bike lane where it should be easy enough to, doesn't look like it though. Gonna follow that semi. So there is no bike lane here, so we're gonna have to hog a lane. Maybe there is on the other side, but... Well, here's the Mississippi. I found out that the uh, city of Winona is actually an island. It's an island known as the Island City. And it's also known for uh, being the number one uh, city in the country that produces uh, stained glass. Uh, just at the bottom right here, it looks like no, it's still not up. I'm gonna pull off here, see if I can get onto this bike bike trail here. Oh, there's a sign for uh, Wisconsin. Well, let's go down here first. There's places down here where you got, they got houseboats and stuff that um, you see these houses or little uh, rafts along the uh, people live in those. Those are actually uh, residences. We're on the Wisconsin side. And this is a uh, I think it does go through, but uh, we'll just take a little zip around this park and we'll come back out. There's the Mississippi. The other thing I did was, uh, as I was lifting the bike out, I gashed my my leg. I got just a little bit of a blood trail heading down, but not too bad right now. So it's uh, <laughs> it's been an interesting day, a late start. A little bit of mud over here. We didn't get that much rain, just enough to wet things down, it looks like. There's the uh, 
the bridge down there going across the Mississippi and this looks like it used to be an old uh, railroad trussel you see all these uh, these boats or these houses right on the shoreline they're all sitting on 55 gallon drums and I was kind of looking at something on the internet these poles that are in the back the houses rise and fall on those poles as the water rises and uh, lowers so it's a self-leveling raft as it, as it were and one guy was saying back in 2017 they almost ran out of pole uh, due to uh, high waters on the Mississippi but yeah look at those Be interesting to to live in one of those huh go fishing right out your uh, bathroom window all right that way to Minnesota this way to Wisconsin we're just gonna go down the road a little bit down to the next intersection and then we'll come back this way I guess bunch of those houses in here like that so here's uh there's welcome to Wisconsin like I said I haven't looked up to see what city if, if there is this I don't think there is even is a city here but this is still the Wisconsin side of the Mississippi kind of looks like an old train trestle still there too so this bike lane here Looks like a newer on the other side on the way back is just a shoulder. Gotta make sure my, uh, my rear signal is flashing. It is. nice if they had like an entrance ramp that you could get onto it but it's way down here I feel naked without my uh, side mirror well this is a lot nicer that they got this and if I would have known about it, I would probably would have gone on this side, but then we wouldn't have gotten the, the full effect of the uh, the iron bridge. Yeah, and my... Uh, backpack that holds my spare battery is really getting tattered so I'm gonna probably have to get a replacement for that that's some uh, barge traffic down there pull off to the side so you can see them 
this is probably the uh, the boundary line here. Uh. There's the middle. We're sitting one leg in Minnesota and one leg in Wisconsin. You can see the uh, there's uh, Winona, Minnesota, and over there is Wisconsin. Some barge traffic way down there, but they're, they're not moving at all. Bunch of swallows. go down here yeah I watched some YouTube videos on Winona kind of an interesting town the uh, name came from an old Indian gal that her name was Winona and it was uh her uh, dad was an Indian chief, and uh, he was trying. He was going to marry her off to uh, another buck, but uh, she she uh, loved somebody else, and instead of um, ended up marrying uh, who her father wanted her to marry. She wanted to marry her sweetheart and she committed suicide in one of the cliffs. So that's where the term lover's leap came from. All right, so let me see what we got to do here to get across. just shit on me <laughs> it's just not my day let me see I want to uh, I want to keep on going south it looks like damn birds I guess I want to, I'm looking at my uh, map the different way. I was supposed to turn left there. So I think this one will hook back up with the uh, 
the bike lane. It's a lot of interesting homes and businesses and architecture in the town here. And each one has uh, an interesting story on it. A lot of old churches. I can remember where that oh shit just made that one there's a train coming well, that would be kind of fun to see that train let me go back there it is Canadian Pacific Say it would have been neat to see that train uh, that was on the, the uh, tracks. It was going down the uh, roadway. But these are all like oil tankers. All oil tankers. All right. That's enough of that one. Keep on going on our path down to the park. Busy, 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 busy. Busy, 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 busy. Yeah, almost got clobbered in the head at that crossing gate. All right, so this is uh, back to the park. This is uh, called Lake Winona. And I can't see if anybody's behind me, but there it is. I don't think there's going to be too many walkers out today. Not like yesterday. Yesterday everybody was out. Today, I don't see anybody walking. So that's that cliff, that rock on top of the hill up there. Found out that that's called Sugar, Sugar Loaf Cliff. Something like that, Sugar Loaf, but I think that's what it's called.
Let's see. Let's see. Let's just get in the path here. This comes up to a turnabout, which is always, it was hard to get across this thing. So it's like a major intersection. So I'm going to try going down and coming back because I mean the, the traffic is non stop here. And there's a, there's a crosswalk. It goes across here. And maybe maybe I can get them to stop. Let's see. These roundabouts, they just fire through there and they don't yield. Somebody let me go through. That's nice of them. Time is it? It's only 2.30. So we're going to take this down. Now this is where I, I forgot to film yesterday, or I forgot to turn the GoPro on. So I missed all this back up to uh, the railroad track. So now we're going to jump on the road here. We're going to stay on this one, but we're not going to go all the way down. Uh, to travel along the uh, the train tracks. Should be this next uh, flashing light we turn to the right.
See, this is a, see this uh, train track is going right down the city street here. It'd be neat to see a, a train. It's pretty rare to see these trains. But that would be, <laughs> that would be interesting to have a train right in your front door. I've seen videos of people doing that, watching the trains going by their house. I mean, it's, most of them aren't uh, normal traffic. They're just spur lines that, that'll go to an industry. So, uh, you know, it's not a common occurrence, but they're still there because way back in the day, that, that, was the, uh, that was the railroad track. Check and see if my uh, GoPro is still working. Yep. All right, and this is where we had uh, turned in yesterday to go along the Mississippi. And there's some more of these houseboats. that are along the, uh, this trail here. Yeah, we can uh, do another barge race. See, it's been 37 minutes, so we'll have to check our barges out there today. I'll have to uh, work on my brakes maybe the next day or two when I, when I really tighten them up. I was kind of watching and uh, YouTube videos on how to get your brakes because uh, it's been, what are we sitting at? Almost 1,600 miles. All these uh, boats down there are all docked. That's weird. I've never seen uh, seen homes like that. side of those trees they're all docked there tied off and 
and there's the dredging barge. Well, this one you didn't get to see yesterday either, but this is a conveyor belt. It's probably for unloading all the uh, the gravel they dredge out. Low clearance. We'll get down to the end of this one and then we'll uh we're sitting at nine miles we've got two bars left on the battery so that should give us 10 miles plenty of time to get back i've got the second one just in case switch out the battery all right got the uh, battery replaced and instead of going down the tracks like we did yesterday we're just going to go back this way and go back through town And low clearance. Thing but good about these houses you don't have to worry about mowing your grass.
I want to kind of just look and see where we're going here next on the map. Street. We'll go down here. I'll just see, show you a little bit closer. Let's see all these houses here. Just live right on the water. But you sleep good. Check and see, and see if my battery's still charging my phone. Let's uh, go along the street here. Can't see my little dealio. I missed it.
Oops. Oh, here's the Walmart. where we're probably going to come tomorrow when we leave the Airbnb and we may do another ride here I haven't quite decided yet yeah I really do miss my uh side mirror and I probably should have gone the other way but go visit the target and then come down that way there's the target There's that sugar loaf. I don't know if it's sugar loaf peak or climbing or rock or what is it? I'll have to double check and let you know. Burger King. I was going to say they come flying around that corner but at least she stopped for me and let me go alright, little roundabout time and go around this one and then go down to here and then we got to take the roundabout Oh, 
Finally, Take this path back. Sitting at, uh, let me see here, 13.3 and 56 minutes. A lot less people out today than there was yesterday. It's amazing what 10, 10 uh, degrees does to the walking path. I mean, it was really nice yesterday too, and that's why everybody was out. Nobody up today.
nobody out here today. down to one bar I think we're about uh, two or three miles away from the house <clears throat> let's see if we make it seaweed in this lagoon here
found out the other thing uh, that Winona is known for is uh, canoes. Winona canoes. Little fiberglass uh, canoes that I guess only weigh 42 pounds. Pretty popular for people that uh, go camping and stuff and they have to uh, walk from uh, one lake to the next. Here's a Dairy Queen. St. Anne. Benedictine. St. Mary, Mary's Parish. St. Mary's School. Alright guys, well that's going to wrap it up for this one. We're going to be pulling right up to our car here and unloading everything and packing in the trunk and uh, appreciate you coming along for the ride today and we'll catch you on the next one. Adios.